This, as you can see, is Door Kickers. Uh, it's a strategy game based on uh, managing a squad of uh, uh, counter terrorist operatives. This is my squad. And you can see, as yes, I've used my missions, their uh, abilities have increased. Uh, I've upgraded them with, with new weapons. And uh, this one's an assaulter, who I've given a machine gun to. So mostly so far, I've been playing this uh, single mission thing, with a whole bunch of missions. Uh, there are generated missions and uh, there are player created missions. So I'm just going to uh, go on to the next mission, so you get an idea of the game. So there are seven bad guys to kill. So I can, ooh, I can add an extra, um, no, I can't add an extra man. So let's, I'm trying to build up experience in this tote bloke. Let's put him here. Right, so, that's deploy mode at the minute. We'll go, right, so. The way you basically work is you drag and drop. And then you say, look that way. So he's gonna, he's gonna kick the door open, kick door. We can also use a spy camera or throw a flashbang or plant a breaching charge. But I'm not gonna do any of that. I've not actually got the flashbangs to work properly yet. So let's get him looking that way and then we'll get the back up in behind. And we'll have the back up look that way. And we'll hope we get some cover from these cars. So I'm going to hit play and see how that works out. Well, that worked out rather well so far for my first three seconds. So I can stop now, and I can uh, do my next action. So I'm going to move him there, and look that way, and move her there, and look that way, and see how it goes. And that worked out all right. So there could still be a man hidden there, look. I think it's unlikely at this point, so I'm going to take a bit of a risk. And, uh, oh. Let's delete that action. Let's delete that action. And make him go there. And I go there. That was good. So we've cleared out what, one, two, three, four, five of the seven. So we're going to uh, put them there. We'll look into the corner there and we'll wait for go code A. And we'll run her back around there. I'm on. We'll look up the corridor that way. And we'll also wait for go code A. And then what we'll do is we'll clear the corridor. Okay. In one motion. So here's my go codes down here, look. So he'll wait. She'll get into position. We're ready, and we'll go. Go. So that worked out quite well. No contact. So I'm going to move him back to cover this door. And I'm going to pop her through the door. On 
like that. Use 18 seconds so far. Most of that was her walking back around the car, to be fair. And we're done. We're done here. So as you can see, I'll do it in 20 seconds in total. I've got three stars. I didn't complete any of the challenges. So there is a way you can just plan the whole thing out in advance. Um, I was doing it on the easy missions, but I find as the uh, harder missions go on, uh, my, my you know my plans always go wrong within the first few seconds. And yes, so I was getting these two for all my early ones. Um, I'm not really getting that anymore because I found when I did it that way, I, I was just dying a lot. Now the interesting thing is the position of the enemies is um, is randomised, so you can give it the same the same plan uh, and run it multiple times, and sometimes it'll work and sometimes it won't. It's quite interesting to uh, to watch. Uh, there are some bugs in that I've not managed to actually get them to throw a grenade at any point yet. I don't know whether there is some step I'm missing. Do they have to pause to throw a grenade or something? I don't know. But, uh, you know, despite all that, in what looks like a fairly simple game, uh, um, I've played it for nearly two hours now. It's just one of these, uh, one of these sort of, it's, you know, it's essentially a puzzle game, isn't it? Except it's it's a fairly dynamic puzzle to do with uh, with field of view and, and um, guessing where animals will be and, you know, basically having your guys gang up on them. It's a... Uh, quite an interesting approach but uh, I did I think I bought this in the sales at Christmas so it's been sitting around unused until I tried it earlier this week and uh, it turns out it's actually quite fun so uh, on Linux Lock and load. Let's do this. Ooh. you do the replay there. full speed looking nice Uh, it was like three seconds that was, wasn't it? Alpha, go. In position. Now on there. Down. Right down. Good job. Wiped him out. Here. Right, the export replay though, as far as I understand, only works on Windows, which is unfortunate. Now I see I've got some stars here, so I can use the stars to... Um, let's see. Once I've got several stars, you can buy bolt cutters. Or, let's see what else we can get. Other guns. See? So you can uh, level up your people. The Doctrine thing works on, um, on experience. I've uh, used all my Doctrine points up for now. But I, I basically went for... Um, I went for pistol, pistol stuff. Because most of my guys, most of my good guys, have have pistols at the moment. So there's those RPG elements. There's a campaign, which I've not got to yet. Which, um, you know, I guess there's a bit more story to it. I couldn't tell you. I've not seen it yet. But in in general, this is a this is quite a fun game. Uh, fairly reasonable price. A native Linux version, although with a few limitations. And uh, I, I recommend you check it out.